Alright, uh, on this next video, it's about to play. It's a video of when y'all first arrive at the squadron. Uh, first meet your TI. If you pay attention to the surroundings and the ground, you'll see the little yellow dots I was talking about in the DCID video. And um, pretty much this is going to show you what happens when you first arrive. When you first arrive there, and um, it'll also show you at the inside when they take you inside and they show you have you do a little put the finger on the wall locker thing and it's gonna have it's gonna show uh, it's gonna show how you pick your beds how you put all your stuff up uh, pretty much anything that's to do with that first night up to brushing your teeth like it's gonna cut off after they go in there and fill up their canteens and brush your teeth but after after they do that brushing teeth part that's when they go into the day room and they're gonna go over the how to enter the defect the dining facility um like i gave you i already gave you a drawing of the dining facility on the dcid video pretty much the ci is going to have the same thing except drawn on a big old board a dry erase board and you can talk to y'all about that and give you y'all's memory work uh, and then pretty much after that y'all are gonna probably just take your showers and go to bed as far as showers you get about a 30 second shower you run in, run out, ice cold water. Uh, they didn't do any checks for tattoos. Not the first night, but they did eventually. Like the first week, they did a check for tattoos. And it, was, it was really nothing. Uh, so if you have tattoos, don't stress unless they're just uh, visible areas. Um, other than that, yeah, check out the video. This is Zero Night inside the squadron. Dun dun dun. chin will be up. Look at what you see in front of you. This is the position of attention. When I tell you to go to the position of attention, you will look just like this. I go to the position of attention. When you're at the position of attention, you will pin your hands to your side. You will not be relaxed when you perform this drill movement. When you go to the position of attention, you do it with snap, you do it quickly, and your hands are pinned to your side like you're like, I don't believe you. How about we get a little louder? You yes, sir! Do you understand? Yes, sir! Let's go. Pick up your bags. Fourth element, let's go. Find a locker, point to the number. Make sure that the locker that you found has a lock at the bottom of the drawer. Find a locker, point to the number, hurry up. Get out of the way, find the freaking wall locker and get to it. Look at the number, look at the number. Nice and gay. Now 
Now what I want you to do is I want you to point to that number once again. You're standing in the center all facing your red. There's a number on the side of that bed. That matches the number. 56, 56, 56, 56. Now that you know your wall locker number, go find your bed. Bend down and point to the number if you need to. Hurry up. Find your bed. So you don't forget where your bed is. Look at and find the landmark. That way you can associate where your bed is. Now go back to your wall locker. Do it now. Hurry up! Run. That lock will not, that key will not come out unless that lock is locked. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to look down and I want you to grab a pen and a silver marker. Do it now. <laughs> Once you've done that, you will stand. Damn it, teacher, in front of your wall like when you're done looking straight forward. Do not move. Are you going to lock? Buddy, check. Anything that's important and you don't want to steal it will go in that drawer. The keys that are hanging around your neck will be tucked inside your shirt against your skin of, the bo of your body at all times. If your keys are just hanging out, you better tuck them inside your shirt right now. Get out your bank paperwork, either that or a blank check. I want you to go ahead and get out your foot scan paperwork and all important documents and place them inside of that issued satchel that you were given. Do it now. Hurry up! It doesn't take this long. All just any important paperwork that you might possibly have, put it inside you. Then where is it? How about you give a check out? Do you have a blank check? No, sir. You don't have any bank information? No, sir. So you're going to open up the bank account tomorrow? No, I wasn't planning on it. You weren't planning on it? How are you going to get paid? I already have a direct deposit inside of it. Quickly, each element, the road beds that you're in, you're going to move to the day room. Did you work? Go back to your beds. Do it now. Find your bed. 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 On your bed, you're going to see a web belt in a canteen. It looks like this. Take it and place it around your waist. Do it now. Make sure you grab the one that is from your bed. If you're on the top bunk, it is on the top bunk. If you're on the bottom bunk, it's on the bottom bunk. Place it around your waist. Place it tight. The canteen goes into the small of your back. What? We will adjust it later. Suck in your gut, put it up around your stomach. Well, go on, sir. Sir, trainee reports as ordered. Sir, trainee reports as ordered. Sir, trainee, whoever you are, reports as ordered. Sir, trainee Jones reports as ordered. It won't go on. Well, we're waiting on you. And reports as ordered. Let's say it now. Sir, sir trainee, trainee Jones reports as ordered. Say it again. Sir, training daughter's forces order. 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 Remember, before any words come out of your mouth, you will stand at the position of attention to give a reporting statement and then speak to an instructor. Sir, precedes anything that comes out of your mouth. And when I tell you to do so, what you're going to do is you're going to follow. Hurry up! Fill them up! Let's go. Hurry up! Let's go! Get to the tree! Let's go! Fill them up! Use the sinks to fill them up!